Happy birthday, Kevin. Thanks, Grandpa. It's a fucking slinky. Now leave us alone and make some fun out of that with your hands and some hardwood stairs, huh? If he's still playing with it tomorrow, put all of your energies into the girl. Dad, isn't there a dress code in the common areas? Did Morgan at the front desk not offer you a courtesy blazer? Mm. We apologize on his behalf. That type of rudeness is unacceptable. You look good. I should. Got the old ashes hole this morning. Uh, okay. Got laid is what I mean. Yeah, copy on that. I attended the opening of Bedminster Golf Club. <laughs> Did you ever meet his first wife? Oh, Jesus, Dad, you didn't. That woman was an athlete. We made the beast right on the green of the second hole, which is all very ironic, considering where she now lies once again, rest mm. in peace. Do you have any idea what it smells like in prison? Is it Dick? I'm betting Dick, the idiot in question, is Brian Connerty. But if he is headphones on right now, it means he's gone completely over the line and committed all manner of crimes that, that led to this. And his arrest is uh, moments away. Which is why we dubbed the man the idiot. Should have called him the fucking idiot. Connecticut Hall. I fucked three girls in there once in a 24 hour period. One in a can. You screwed a girl in a dorm bathroom? No, Sonny. Well, that was before AIDS wouldn't have stopped us. The fact that it stopped your generation says it all. We forged ahead, damn the torpedoes. Positive news, Dad. My prostate is gonna shrink back to its former size. Do not bring the clap home to your husband. It's uncivil. Dad. I now know the only way you could avoid stepping on your dick is if I'd made them cut it off in that birthing room. Okay. I would slap your face and tell you to act like a man if I didn't think it'd turn you on. Did you know that face ID works when you're asleep? Why wouldn't it? You ought to go after big tech. I dozed off mid emoji. Roxanne grabbed the damn phone and saw it all. I'll just drop this here while I test the beds. I'll go talk to him. Well, not now. Why not? Honey, I took a pill. From the day the Dorsey brothers showed that Presley boy swiveling his hips, there's been a slow but steady erosion of the family. You cannot be an effective candidate if your marriage is in the crapper. That's not really a thing anymore, Dad. That I need a woman standing behind me on the podium, that's archaic. <laughs> Son, you do know why you need her in your life, don't you? She is a natural born killer. You think you and Chuck are the only ones who've grappled with some upheavals in a marriage? Unless it is broken plates and steak knives, you gut through it. Never let them see your shame. Bearing, son, is all. Did you know that I stayed faithful to your mother for five months after Kevin was born? Would you like an award for that? We don't have kings, Dad. We live in a democracy. You sound like a fucking hippie. The tax breaks are supposed to be for the benefit of downtrodden neighborhoods to stimulate investment development. And treadmills were originally built as a system of punishment for convicts. Hard labor, milling grain, not firm bund soccer moms. Maybe I'll just stay home. Son, are you hungover? Because it's one thing for a governor to start his day at 11 a.m., but a New York State Attorney General needs to be a credible sentinel on the watchtower. Not in the bag. It's a migraine wearing out its welcome. Well, walk it off. Sonny! Hello, Dad. Is this the daily I love you call? Son, I have neither time nor inclination to dicker around with protestations of emotions. You need my words as reassurance of affection. Oh, no, 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 sir. Your feelings are made manifest with each interaction. I should hope so. I'm proud of you, son. You did what was required. Fucked me good. Damn the torpedoes. What? Dad? It was rolling. The thing was a complete monster. And what you do when you have an advantage.
press it. How much? All of it. So my entire trust is... Gone. Ugh. I'm gonna throw up. Well, you did have that ice juice today. Yeah, of course you don't have my blood flowing in your veins. If you did, be a big goddamn president by now. or the fucking Pope. Mm. Now your arteries must be filled with the same watery gruel as your mother's pinhead brother. It's not okay to say about somebody with microcephaly. Or maybe anybody ever. You know, they, they used to have a rating system for mental infirmity. We're all too polite for it now, but that list told it like it goddamn was. A, a cretin was without a thought in their head. An idiot had the intellect of a two-year-old child. An average imbecile got up to seven, and a moron could be as clever as a feeble-minded 12-year-old. You pick your fucking title. You were a feeble swimmer at best. Finally, one day, you got out past the shore break to the calmer water. You turned to show me, big proud smile on your face. You didn't see the wave coming. Mm -hmm. And you didn't warn me. Warn you? I clapped and kept your attention on me until the wave came and wiped you out completely. I knew it was a lesson you needed to learn the hard way. I got infections in both ears. So now you ought to know. Don't turn your back on oceanic forces. I was gonna stroll across the bridge, take a contemplative constitutional through a crumbling city. Feels more appropriate than lounging in some spa. Now you can take your constitutionals when you're in the nursing home. Get in the damn car. Is that my little sister, for Christ's sakes? Don't worry, Sonny. You'll always be my only child.